Hey guys, welcome to The Cursed Forest. Now this is an indie horror game as well. I have no idea what it's all about. It's supposedly developed by some guy in Siberia or something, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of irrelevant, but let's just uh, see what this game is all about and let's play it. And right now it's in the middle of the night. It's uh, 30 minutes past 1 o'clock actually. Uh, so that's gonna be good. Oh, this afternoon, August 13, I received bad news. Her mother back in the city had a heart attack, so I rushed there. The road to the city is rather lengthy, so I decided to take a shortcut through a place some call Cursed. Because of such a reputation, no one had taken that path for quite some time, but I didn't care. All what I cared about was to get to my mother as quickly as possible. The sky was unusually clear and the sun was shining bright. That is, until I made a turn to that cursed place. Suddenly, it had become so dark that even my headlights didn't make any difference. I had to drive in total darkness no matter what. Then something unusual happened. Without any reason, my car electricity started to go off. I heard a strange noise and a dark human figure appeared in front of my car. I tried to brake to the side but lost control and ended up in a ditch. Then all faded into darkness. Next thing I know, I'm awake at some strange place on top of a hill. Ooh. Now that's for a boating. Okay, how do I do this? Wow, what the hell, the graphics look amazing. Look at that. This is the cry engine though, but... How the hell did I get on top of that hill, guys? Oh shit, I'm not sure why I'm drawn to that. Like a moth to a flame. But yeah, let's uh, let's go and do some investigating here. Let's get the, the atmosphere going. Oh! I can jump actually, that's nice. Usually these games I can't really jump. I can actually crouch! Such a luxury! Oh man, I'm dreading this. Why am I doing this? Yeah, this sure as hell looks for boating. I like the atmosphere though. Definitely looking at the graphics here. I mean, wow, look at that. That's some top notch graphics here for a free game. Guys, I need to remind you, it was only 700 MB. I'm not sure what the hell that was. Instant goosebumps. Wow. That didn't take a minute, I guess. But yeah, let's go check this out. Hello? Anybody home? Oh. Read the notes. Okay. Oh, shit. Tomorrow is the day when everything is going to change. I tried to convince the Morgans to stop what they were planning, but they didn't listen. The things they are going to do with their daughter are out of this world. I don't understand how parents can agree to do such horrible things. They're out of their minds. Things were better back in the day. 67. August 13th, actually. As I expected, things didn't go well. What have they done? August 14th. I don't know if anyone's going to read this, but there is one thing I know for sure. What they have awakened doesn't remind me of a good little girl I knew since she was five. Today, I heard a horrible scream in the distance. I don't think this hut is safe anymore. I feel like I'm being watched. August 15th. I need to get all her remains and all of the ritual stones to repeat the ritual. Maybe it will purify the innocent soul and calm the evil spirit down. I haven't heard from any of my neighbors for a while. It seems that we are all going to die. Maybe we deserve this fate. Well, now, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what does. Resume game. So, these guys have been up to something. Oh, they've been up to something. I'm not liking that. Some damn serious bloodstain over there. What the hell? Oh. What is this sound even? There's some kind of generator? Look at the graphics though, it's crisp and clear. I love it. Wow, I gotta say, this map is absolutely huge guys, so let's just pick a direction. 
Well, I'm gonna go to the right. Oh, I can no longer sprint, it seems. I'm not really sure how the time it is now. I'm gonna try and keep these videos at around 12, 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, what the hell? I'm not sure, but I can't run anymore. That's that's kind of weird. Okay, we got something over there. Let's go and get that. It's shiny red. That can never be good. But I want it. Okay. Give me that body part, game. <laughs> Give it to me now. That's what I like collecting here in the f middle of the night. Hey. Okay. We got a stalker over there. I saw you. I know you're there. And of course I got no weapons to defend myself. It's like a trend these days. So, it's like this protagonist has nothing better to do than simply walking around the dark forest and collecting body parts. I guess to each his own. That is not my favorite pastime. Let that be clear. Okay, there's a scream. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. And there's like a mosquito on the wall there. I don't like that. Goddamn mosquitoes! Oh no! Okay. Dude, stay behind the tree, would you? Oh man, I don't want to walk through here. Oh no! This is getting real unnerving, real fast. Okay, these goosebumps. I'm reaching whole new levels of goosebump. Penis. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Now I thought something's going to happen. The doubt in my mind. But give me that body part. At least something to remember this joyful trip by. Oh man. Oh man. But the graphics, oh yeah, the graphics are real nice. Did I say that already? I guess I did. It's just that, you know, everything, the textures are so sharp and everything. This really adds to the immersion. Especially playing this in a pitch black room. Except for this light, of course. But really, no. Without that light, you wouldn't even see my face. <laughs> what would be the point of that? I actually recorded a video way back. Uh, of Slender, actually. But that one turned out to be so dark that I decided not to upload it on YouTube. So... Okay, dude, what the hell, man? I mean, seriously, if you got a problem, if you got a problem, you come on and get it. I got something for you. I got uh, a bunch of legs that I can run away with. Just so you know. But, the collection is going rather well. Oh, I was like, where's the generator going? But we still have the generator going. It is still working on us. But, to be totally fair with you guys, I, I don't think this is... <laughs> okay, I was about to say, I don't think this game is too scary at all, but... Then the game pulls a jump scare on me. And it changes things. Oh, froggy frog. What the hell is this cage you doing here? So, what do you want me to do, game? I'm not gonna swim. No way I'm gonna swim. No way. I'm gonna try and walk around here. Seriously, how badly do I want to have these body parts? I mean, now uh, really. Just... Oh, okay, okay, let's do this. Oh no, I don't like this. Fuck. That's about right.
Yeah, yeah. I am on edge here. I just want to see some kind of movement. Oh my god, I have to go back. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, let's regret this. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. Dude, swim. Swim like you mean it. For fuck's sake, come on. I can't go forward. Oh my god, the biggest enemy is this lousy swimmer. What the hell? Seriously, I'm stuck here. Oh man, come on. Seriously, I'm getting creeped out by the minute here. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's it's kind of scary. Mostly tense. Not like straight in your face scary, but just nightmare if you scary. So the the body part collecting here is going along nicely. Well, last checkpoint. Why would I want to do that again? Everything is going smoothly. Somewhere a passage opened. Okay. 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 Well, there's still a bunch of these branching pathways I haven't checked. Uh, starting with this one, I guess. No, no. Actually, I came from there. And someone was breathing in my neck, wasn't there? Goddamn neck breathers these days. Well, so far everything seems to, everything seems to be fine and dandy. No reason to complain. Music is ramping up, though. That's a tiny point of complaint. Oh, you have okay. You haven't collected all the necessary items. That's fine, game. Then we go check out the other area. Just go straight like a boss through these bushes here. Give very little to no fucks at all. Because really, I got a whole lot of fucks not to give at this point. Oh my fucking god! Uh. <laughs> I should have known that shit would happen. This game's gonna go Blair Witch on my ass. You watch me. I find it odd that I still cannot sprint for some reason. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh shit. Alright, well, this seems to be like a safe area. Oh, uh, the thing I like most about this other game, Outlast, is the fact that you can actually, you know, look around over your shoulder when running. It's amazing. Every horror title should have that. Well, this is actually rather interesting. Let's go and have a look-see at this cabin. Hey, okay, I saw the shadow over there. Let's see if I can see that, that perp. I'm not stupid, I ain't gonna fall for that shit. Oh, maybe I am. Oh, maybe I am. What the hell kind of place is this even? It's not even cozy. I really want to see this though. Ah, as long as he doesn't pop out under the... Oh, that's fine, game. That's fine. You know, I figured I was not alone in here. Now that just proves it. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell? Did I die? What? I died, guys. I don't know why, <laughs> why I died, but I died, so... Well, this is a good time to end this episode right here. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode in which I will continue on the last checkpoint and see what the hell killed me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.